no bullshit weekly update. To start things off, we've got a lot of new content in the game. The Tundra Panther was just added into the game as part of the Los Santos Drug Wars update for $2.17 million. You can find it on Legendary. Rockstar has finally given us the 50 car garage that was promised with the Los Santos Drug Wars update. It is the Eclipse Boulevard garage and you can get it for $2.74 million off of the Dynasty 8 real estate website. More new content includes street dealers, up to three can be found per day. Daily stash houses have been added. G's caches have been added and convenience store robbery random events have been added into the game. I'll have videos covering these things later on. For discounts this week, we have 35% off MC clubhouses and renovations, as well as 35% off MC businesses if you don't own them already, that being cocaine, meth, stuff like that. I'm personally a big fan of the MC businesses, especially cocaine. It's a great passive business if you just like chilling in free mode, so go grab these while they're on sale. As for vehicle discounts, we have quite a few and they're good ones too. First up, we have the Anus Euros for $945,000 down from 1.35 mil. Next up, we have the Benefactor Krieger for $2 million down from $2.9 million. Very fast race car and is easy to drive as well. I would grab one of these for sure. Then we have the Progen Emirates for $1.925 million down from 2.8 mil. The fastest supercar in the game, I would definitely grab one of these. Next up, we have the Trafade Thrax for $1.63 million, down from 2.3. Very fast supercar as well. All three of these are fantastic vehicles. I would probably grab the Krieger or the Emirates if you guys like racing, the Krieger being slightly easier to drive, but if you're comfortable behind the wheel, I would grab the Emirates. Next up, we have the Dinka Kanjo SJ, going for $720,000, down from a million thirty thousand if you have the trade price unlocked, otherwise it's gonna be $960,000, down from almost 1.4 million. Our very last discounted vehicle is the Dubai Bachi Wagner going for a million eighty thousand dollars down from 1.5 million. It used to be a fast vehicle but now it's dominated by things like the Emirates and the Krieger so I would probably skip out on this one. Our podium vehicle this week is the Cheetah Classic which is a very quick sports classic car. I would definitely try to win this thing. It is a very good performing vehicle and looks great as well. It only loses to the Turismo Classic by just a tiny bit which is the best in its class, so make sure you guys are spinning the wheel for this thing. The prize ride for this week is the Coquette Classic, which you can win by placing first in five LS Car Meet Series races. I don't really think this thing's really worth your time because it's a very old vehicle. It's not very fast, and I think there are better looking cars out there, but if it's something you're interested in, the challenge isn't that hard. For a luxury showcase this week, we have the Penumbra FF, as well as the Coil Ride-In. The Penumbra FF is pretty cool and has a lot of customization as well. I don't think there's anything that special about the Coil Ride-In. Last up, we have the Simeon Showcase, which has the Panther, the Dinka Kanjo SJ, the Pegasi Tauros, the Vapid Hustler, and the Imponti Nightshade. My eyes are definitely on the Tundra Panther and the Pegasi Tauros, because the Panther is new and the Tauros is based. <laughs> a couple of background patches that were added as well were a taxi god mode glitch was patched. The Keo Perico heist had a solo wall breach glitch that was patched, as well as a bug with the stash houses where you get rewarded cash instead of supplies to some of the businesses. That's gonna wrap it up for the No Bullshit Weekly Update. Drop a like if this video helped you guys out. Comment down below and let me know what you're gonna grab this week. Lots of really good discounts. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll be covering more of these in the future. And that's about it. So take care and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.